What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back with the video on the channel, and today we are back with another episode of The Best, where I highlight my favorite restaurants from each genre. Today we are doing Mexican, but specifically my favorite Mexican dish. There are a ton of Mexican restaurants in this area, and a lot of them specialize in different things, but I go to different places for different types of dishes, but if I had to pick my favorite dish, it would be the one that you see in front of you. This place is known as La Fortaleza, it is located, well, they have at this point, like 10 locations. Don't quote me on that, but I know there's at least six off the top of my head. You have a Garfield, New Jersey location, and there's a Crosstat, New Jersey, a Saddlebrook, New Jersey. You get the idea. This place has a 4.3 rating of over 3,000 ratings on Google, as well as a 4.0 of 1,400 plus ratings on Yelp. A lot of people use Yelp as an indicator. I would say anything that's over a 3.5 on Yelp would be considered a very good restaurant. Those reviews are a little more harsh, but let's get into this video. Four different dishes I've had three out of four before a different kind of sandwich this time but my favorite dish that is mexican food is chilaquiles i love chilaquiles that is right in front of you right here and chilaquiles at this place to me i've had it in a lot of places is the best that i've had so here we have an order right here chilaquiles if you don't know are nacho chips tortilla chips i should say that are cooked with in a salsa you can get rojo or verde i like their salsa verde and then they have a lot of different additions that you can get. Of course, comes with the fried egg and the queso. But there are also red onions in this one. And you can add different kinds of meat. I did the cecina or the cured beef. It's like a tender version of like a beef jerky for those who have never had it. It's a little bit salty, but it goes well with the salsa verde in this dish. I absolutely love this dish. So that is what we're starting with today. Drop a thumbs up. You guys already know the vibes. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series of the best where I'm highlighting these restaurants because... I mean, hell, I'm enjoying it myself, but let's get into this. Let me get a little bit of the, with a little bit of the, I'm going to start off with the tortilla chips. Let's grab a piece of this. I'm going to break a piece off because these pieces are pretty long, as they usually are. And then I'm going to just, th look. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to just throw that on there and just get this first bite going. You don't need to be here yet. There's my chilaquiles. I love this. Again, I get this dish everywhere. This is the best. Their salsa every day is just so good. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to explain something to you about chilaquiles for people who've never had it before. Because the tortilla chips are cooked in a salsa, some people may say that this comes off as soggy. But when they're good like this, they are slightly soggy, but there's still a crisp or a crunch to the tortillas. Oh, my God, so good. Mm. Easily the best one. Then you take this egg right here. And you break that open, you get a little bit of that red onion, kind of work that around. And you go in like this. Can't get the onion. There we go. And a little bit of this cecina. Boom. Right on here. Just like this with the yolk. It's so good legit this place made me fall in love with chile like there's more than anything and i get it every single time i come here the other food from here i also do enjoy but if i'm in the mood for like just chile quiles which is my favorite this is it right here lord okay one more bite Now, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who have preferences when it comes to Mexican food and where to get this from. If you'd like to point me in a direction where you can find better than this, I am all ears. But for now, in 2023, this is it. 9.6 out of 10, man. I love this dish so much. I can eat all of this and I just get it out of my face. Now, this next torta is a little bit different. It's called a semita, which is 
a variation of a torta. I'm going to put the definition up on your screen for people who may not understand. I've heard people say, okay, this isn't a torta, but I'm going to explain to you what a cimita is as I show you this. Look at this thing. It's an absolute monster. But a cimita is a torta originally from Puebla, Mexico. Also known as a cimita poblana, it derives from the city of Puebla. So it's a regional version of it. Biggest thing, I don't know what it is, but I know this thing. I've had their other ones. It is delicious. But this one in particular is the semita cubana. It has grilled ham, breaded sirloin steak, carnitas, Oaxaca cheese, and homemade chipotle on here as well. Look how fat this sandwich is. Look how much cheese they give you on here. So the breaded sirloin, I just, just let me take a bite and then I'll talk to y'all in a second. Just hold on. You'll know, bite this thing. You know what? Let's do a cross section. All right. Now let's go in. There we go. So now you can see all of the oohs and ahs that are going on in here. I can see the Chipotle now. Oh my goodness. I've never had this particular one before, but it sounded interesting. That Chipotle is really strong on there. They're not seeded, so it does have the spice. It also does come with guac, or you can do avocado, but I prefer to kind of spread the guac love a little bit differently. I've had their guac before also. I'm not a guac expert, but their guac is good. All right, so let's, let's do this right here. There we go. All right, so there's your spread. I expected the steak to be dry. It's not. The carnitas in here are decent. And I like the grilled ham part. I'm guessing that's where they get like the Cuban part. Man, a mess though. Mm. The bread is really soft and it holds up well. And you get the nice bite of cheese in every single bite. The other one that I have from here, which is the Al Pastor, which I always get, it's still my preference. Probably should have got it, but every once in a while, you got to risk it for the biscuit. Is this a sandwich I get again? Oh, yeah. It's just, in my opinion, not the best one there. I still give it, sorry. I would still give it an 8.5 out of 10, though. Really flavorful and still juicy. Now we have an order of tacos. These are tacos al bañil. Now, I've had these once. What's in here is steak, jalapenos, and mushrooms that they saute. Kind of like a fajito kind of vibe. Fajito. Fajita kind of vibe. I'm not going to lie. These cost a lot less the last time I got them. Prices got a little gentrified. I'm kind of upset about it, but we already ordered them. So, $20 for an order of four. It's a lot of money. I'm just telling you. Let's see a bite without, and then they have the salsas you put on there as well. Damn. The steak on here, I see why it's expensive. That is not a cheap cut of steak at all. That's almost like churrasco. Or even, I don't know, what the hell? Right, let's go in a little salsa, though. That's really damn good. Look at this steak. Damn, that steak's good. I'm going to tell you what, you could take the steak on there and just serve that over some rice. And it would still bang. God, Wow! You know what makes me mad? You pay 20 and you're like, oh, I want to I flame this. I'm going to be mad. And then you eat it and you can't really be mad no more. Yeah, we're going in for another one. That is like flavor on flavor. The rojo. My goodness.
if you overcharge me for tacos, they better hit like this. That's all I'm going to say. These are crazy good. I mean, everything's seasoned. Everything's tender. The steak is so on point. I happen to love mushrooms. And you get a kick of that spice from the jalapenos. The onions and cilantro, bro. Man. It doesn't even need the salsa. That's good. I'm... I feel like half the time when I get mad about something or triggered, I go in with an attitude like I don't want to like it. And then I like it. And I can't say anything. Listen, if you want to clear out your 401k, look at this thing. And get one of these, and you like steak tacos, you will love that. Not damn good. I'm, <laughs> I'm mad. I'm still getting the same score though. 9.4 out of 10. Wow, that's a good taco. That's really good. And this last dish, people may say, that's not real Mexican food. Look, I got it from a Mexican restaurant. Maybe they made it for me. I'm more than okay with that. We got an order of nachos. I love my El Pastor, so that's what we got here with the pineapple on the top. There's cheese underneath here. And again, the sauces and everything are on the side. They do that because when you get takeout, if you put all that stuff on there, they're going to get even more soggy than you would do when you're letting nachos kind of, you know, travel. So I don't really mind that, but I'm going to go in just for like, a, let's, let's just do something like this. Here we go. Bro, their al pastor is good. Oh boy. Hold on. Let me do a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Let me get some sour cream too. Let's just, let's just, you know, let's do it right. Let's do it right. A little bit of the sour cream. Just gonna grab the, the nucleus. Just grab the nucleus and then do one of these. Yeah. Don't man. And that piece look, yeah, that's the prime piece right here. Okay. So boom. What really makes this is their al pastor it is it's on point. It is super on point. I love, you got to get the pineapple with this for me. Let me grab that. Stop being cute. Let me go like this. Oh, I also got some beans in there. Yeah, the beans are on point too. Okay. Okay. I know a lot of people will say, like, why would you go to a Mexican restaurant and order nachos? My answer to you, respectfully, why wouldn't you? This is like an appetizer for me. Man. Again, what really makes these other proteins, and they're, they're, they're super on point. Love the sweetness of the pineapple. Contrast like with the saltiness and the richness of everything. Man, you could eat these all day. Those get a nine out of ten. Some of the better nachos I've eaten. So here's a weird, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, uh, history lesson about how nachos came to be. Again, I've said a lot of people say that nachos aren't really a Mexican dish, but they were in fact invented by a Mexican. But here's the, the caveat. <laughs> so, more or less, there was a restaurant in Mexico, but it was right over the border from Texas, right? And the main chef was missing when a group of American U.S. Army wives walked into a restaurant. So when these American women walked in, the head chef was nowhere to be found. So... The maitre d' had to find a way to serve them, and he didn't know what to do. This is all, like, legit story. So the maitre d' walks into the back, he takes tortilla chips, he puts cheese and all the other ingredients on them, and he puts them under the broiler. And out came nachos. The reason they're called nachos is because the maitre d's name was Ignacio. A nickname for Ignacio is Nacho. 
So it is a dish technically invented by Mexicans for American people. Thank you. Nacho. I supposedly just got to really get the credit and people ripped off his recipe. But no one really knows that. But that's where the word nachos and the food comes from. I always found that a funny story. But is it real Mexican food? I mean, kind of. What is real, though? Either way, these are delicious. The food here is delicious. But the chilaquiles for me, I would eat my body weight in these. Legitimately. Absolute heat. This place has grown over the years where there are so many different locations. And it's one of those things where some people say some locations aren't as good as the others. I can't attest that because I haven't eaten at them all. But this particular location, the one in Garfield, um, is always packed. So the food does take a while at times. So if you're going to get takeout, I would call ahead before I get there. Because you'll be waiting for a while. And that's not a testament on them. It's just because there's always a lot of people there. But the food here is delicious. La Fortaleza, there are a lot of different locations. I would try the Garfield. I had the Pasek and the Saddlebrook locations. And I liked all three of those. I don't really know about the other locations for those who do ask. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to eat those. I'm still thinking about eating them. <laughs> but we will be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.